There are two main types of human torch trader. We have the extreme human torch and the regular human torch. Now with both of these approaches, they lead to the same thing. They lead to trader burnout, never achieving trading consistency, and most of the time they lead to the trader walking away from the financial markets, basically giving up on their dream of becoming a consistently profitable trader. So what are human torch traders and how do you avoid both of these different types of human torch trading? So the first one is the extreme human torch. This one I see very, very regularly. Now what tends to happen is people come to the financial markets, they discover it somewhere. Maybe they read an article, maybe they see an ad on YouTube, maybe they're on Facebook and they see someone else talking about it. It instantly grabs their attention. And what they do is for maybe the next week, two weeks, they watch every single trading video they can find. They get extremely excited, extremely interested in trading. They read articles. They start following different traders, going onto their websites, looking at their courses. And then what they do is they invest in a trading course. After they've invested in the trading course, they throw everything they have at the financial market. All of the money they can afford, they're straight onto a live account, and then what tends to happen? Two weeks later, three weeks, a month later, they have blown all of their money. And then they turn around and they say stuff like, trading's a scam, the broker was out to get me, the broker knew where my stop was every time, trading is just random, you can't make money at trading. So with this type of approach, they are allowing their excitement to get in the way of the realities of trading. It's a very, very common problem. I see it all the time, as I've mentioned. Usually what I get is people really excited, they'll be sending Facebook messages, tweets, emails nonstop, they'll come onto the course, they're really raring to go, and then they just disappear. And what they're doing is they're building it up in their head as something they can do quickly. What it reminds me of is the, the Metallica song, Mama Said. Because in that song, there's a line which says, um, the, the brightest flame burns quickest. And it's very true. When you're coming to trading, you have to understand that it's a long-term process. And this is how we avoid this first type of extreme human torch. When you're coming into the trading markets, you have to understand it's going to take time. Now, the problem is there's a lot of stuff out there that tells you that it's going to be a quick process. There's all the, the adverts, there's the courses which talk about financial freedom. They talk about being able to trade with a laptop, sitting on a beach somewhere. And that's all the pictures they're sort of pushing forward to you. And then they've got the, the course, and after a few weeks, a few months, you're going to be like this guy, and you're going to be financially free, and you're going to be a full-time trader. The best way to avoid this is to listen to what I am about to say. That is not going to happen. Unless there is some magical fluke, maybe you just have trading in your genes, maybe you can just instantly pick it up. Unless that is the case, and it's not the case, it's never the case, it's going to be a long-term process. You have to understand. What tends to happen in the trading um, industry is that they kind of, a lot of people out there, they sort of gravitate toward the same things. You sort, of, you sort of watch the trends. It used to be things like binary options. You get into binary options, you can make lots of money. Then it turned into the adverts where the traders are all, you know, next to their Ferraris, next to their Porsches, they're, they're on beaches and they're working on their laptops. And now it seems to be that if you sort of enroll in the course, they're gonna throw everything at you. You're gonna get 85 different trading approaches. And on top of that, every month, they're gonna give you something brand new. They're gonna give you a new way to attack the markets. And what that does is it makes you think, this looks really good. With all of this information, it's pretty much certain that I am going to succeed as a trader. But in reality, when you come to trading, it's difficult enough to learn one style of trading. So if you start spreading yourself thin with all of this information, all that's gonna happen is you're gonna suddenly be looking at lots of different markets, you're gonna be trying to use lots of different methods, and you're never gonna to get to the point where you're mastering one. And then if they're giving you new information each month, first of all, how the hell are they coming up with new trading methods every month, every week, whatever it may be? It takes years to develop a trading system. And then once you've developed the trading system, you then have to test it live. You then have to make adjustments depending on how it actually works when you are then trading it live and you can see, okay, this might work great when I'm doing my back testing, but when I'm trading live, you miss things, you trade things ever so slightly differently because of the way the market's setting up. So, the extreme human torch, 
Best way to avoid it is just to accept that if you're coming into trading, it's gonna be a long-term process. It's something that I sort of bang on about in a lot of my videos. And the reason for that is because when I first came to trading, I bought into this very fast process. And I threw a lot of money at training courses and I threw a lot of money at the markets. And all that happened was I blew up accounts. I went through training courses which were not very good. Um, they didn't really teach me anything new. They just basically got my money and they taught me the basics. So extreme torch trader, understand it's gonna be a long-term process. Now then there's the second type of trader. This is a little bit less extreme, but it's the same sort of thing. They come to trading and they understand that, yeah, okay, this is maybe gonna be a long-term process. And they set themselves up for it. They study, they get ready, maybe they start on a demo account for a couple of weeks or a month, and then they go on to a live account. And what tends to happen with this type of trader, this human torch trader, is that after usually two to three months, they don't think they are seeing any progress. And so what they do is they either jump onto a new system or they give up completely. Uh, it's the same type of process. Now with this type of trader, it's a little bit different. When you're trading, uh, what, especially if you're trading regularly, a week feels like a month. A month feels like a year. Every time you're looking at the markets, every time you're getting into trades, it's very stressful. It's like an emotional journey. So time seems to sort of stretch itself out. And what that means for you as a trader is that after a month, after two months, you think to yourself, I should be doing a lot better. This is taking forever, it's not working. Now with this type of trader, um, they can actually be making very good progress but they're just expecting it to happen a little bit too fast. So what you need to understand for this type of trading is a couple of different things. The first thing is you have to treat this like a business. Now imagine you are sitting down and you've decided to yourself, I want to become an entrepreneur. And then someone said, that sounds really good. Now, what do you want to do as an entrepreneur? What do you want your business to be in? What niche do you want to focus in? And you've sort of sat there and you've thought to yourself, I'm not really sure. Can you point out the most difficult industries in the world? The ones with the highest fail failure rates. And that's, that's what I want to do. Because that's basically what you're doing as a trader. And now that might sound absolutely mad when you hear it said like that, but that is what you are doing as a trader. So if you are doing that, and you're sitting down at your computer and a few months pass and you start to think to yourself, I'm still not consistently profitable. This should be happening faster. You have to think back to what you are actually doing. What are the reasons for you becoming a trader? This is a really good one to stop you being this human torch trader. What are the reasons? Just think about it right now. Why are you learning to trade? I don't want to hear because I want to make lots of money. It's rubbish, okay? Everyone says they wanna make lots of money and that's why they want to trade. It's not enough. What are your reasons for trading? You can comment and you can let me know. It has to be something significant. It's gonna be something like, I want to trade so I can generate an extra income and it's gonna improve my family's life. I want to trade because if I can master trading, it's gonna allow me to be my own boss. Yes, it's gonna allow me to potentially trade from a laptop. It means I don't have to be stuck in an office. I don't have to get up, put on a suit and tie, go in and work for this asshole boss that right now I have to work for. Those are serious reasons to become a trader. Now, if you think about those reasons, they are all what? Very, very important. Very significant changes in your life. If you're looking to make a significant change in your life, it's not going to happen quickly. You have to understand you are the entrepreneur. You have opened up your new shop. It might not be a physical shop, but it's still opening up a shop. And what happens is it takes time to build your business. It's not a quick process. Now, one of the other things with this type of trader is when the three months pass, the four months pass, they don't think they are making progress because they're only looking at one thing. They're looking at their profits and their loss. And they're saying, okay, break even again for this month. Okay, I've lost a little bit of money again this month. This is not working. You have to delve a little bit deeper. And the best way to do that is to keep a track record of your trades, a trading diary. Now in that trading diary, you can record things like, and I'm just talking, get a highlighter. If you've got bad trades, highlight them in red. Emotional trades, trades where you didn't follow your plan, where you made mistakes, highlight them in red. The ones that you do properly, highlight them in green. 
And then what you can do is you can start to flip through and you can start to see, okay, in the first month, I may as well have just painted this entire page red. I made so many mistakes. Second month, well, there's a little bit more green on this page. Third month, there's a lot more green on this page. Okay, if I look at this and I take all my red ones away, I'd be starting to make a little bit of profit maybe. And what it's doing is it's painting the picture of progress you're actually making. Because as I've mentioned, when you're trading, the week does feel like a month. A day feels like a week sometimes. If you get into trades and it's really stressful and you know, you're, you're going through this emotional journey every time you're in the trade, it takes a lot out of you. You're just sitting down at the computer by yourself. It can elongate the time and you don't understand. It's, the mind is not good at thinking long term. So three months can seem like an eternity. But in reality, it's not that long at all. Think about when you pass your driving test, if you're a driver. You go out onto the roads. The day after you pass your driving test, now compare that to sort of six months after you pass your driving test, a year after you pass your driving test, two years, three years. What was happening is slowly but surely, you were becoming a better driver. But each day you got into the car, you did not notice those improvements. It's almost happening subconsciously. However, with trading, you can do it with your diary. You can see um, the changes that you're making. Some of the diaries that I see from students are fantastic. They're so detailed. They've got so much information in them. But then sometimes with those same students, they will come to me and they will say, I don't feel like I'm making progress. And I'll have a look for them and I'll say, but I can see your progress right here and so can you. And they'll say, well, yeah, I suppose you're right. Maybe, maybe they've not made as much profit in a month that they thought they should, have, uh, they should have made. Maybe they've had a break even month. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, but look, look at your diary, run through it. And you can see the steady, the steady steps that you're taking. Now, if you don't have a diary, what it's doing instead is it's leaving you to come down each day, sit in front of the computer and just somehow remember that you have made this progress. And if you are just remembering, then your focus goes to one thing. It goes to your profit and loss. Again, think back to a business. A lot of businesses, when they first start out, they don't make money. You don't just open a shop and all of a sudden there's just customers flooding in and you're making this money. However, as a trader, you have a bit of a bonus because with this shop, this guy or this girl has to pay rent. They have to pay staff. They have to stock the shelves. They have to pay electricity, rates. All of this stuff has to come out. They have a fixed fee they have to spend. As a trader, you can have a small trading account. You can risk minimum stakes. So as you're learning, yeah, maybe you're break even, maybe you're making small losses each month, maybe you're making bigger losses each month, but you're able to reduce the size of the loss. The worst thing you can do is say to yourself, I'm not making much progress, I'm gonna start risking more money. I think if I start risking more money, for some reason, I'm gonna start making money. I see this all the time also. So that's the second type of human torch trader. Um, understand that you most likely are making progress. Think about it in terms of a business in the long term, and the best way to check up on your progress is to have it in front of you, written down in a trading diary, not just sitting down and trying to think about it, not just looking at your P&L. Because if you're doing that, all that's going to happen is you are going to be focused on the negative. You're gonna be focused on the wrong parts of what you are doing. Okay guys, so that's everything for this video. As always, I hope you found it helpful. I hope you're all having a good trading month. We're into March now and I hope you all have a fantastic trading week.